15 Things You Should Never Do in Turkey Steeped in rich history and incredible culture, Turkey is a fascinating country that will enchant and mesmerize you the moment you set foot on it. However, it is relatively easy for travelers to get into trouble in Turkey if they aren't cautious. Fret not. Here is a list of what not to do in Turkey, that when followed will ensure a smooth and hassle-free trip. Number 1. Don't order filter coffee in local cafes. Skip the filter coffees and head to one of the cafes, that tells your fortunes for your dose of caffeine. Drink Turkish coffee and get your fortunes read. Turkish coffee is brewed using finely ground coffee beans, and made to boil with sugar and water in a special pot called kiv. The patterns formed by the sediments of the coffee grounds are then used, to read the drinker's fortunes. Number 2. Don't enter a mosque dressed scantily. Turkish women dress very modestly in public following that set a style that includes a headscarf and a top coat that covers arms and legs completely. In mosques, clean, modest clothing that doesn't show thighs, shoulders and upper arms are appreciated. He all instructions carefully and don't forget to remove your footwear, before you enter any mosque in the country. Number 3. Avoid obscuring a person's view when he or she is praying. Turkey is a country with most of its population following the Muslim faith. They are supposed to pray five times a day ideally. Do not, even by mistake, obscure a person's view or walk past a person praying from the front, as you will most definitely offend him or her. This is because the Muslim custom dictates that when this happens, the person's prayer is null and void and they would have to start again. Number 4, do not board a cab that does not have a taxi logo. Foreigners often get taken for a ride by Turkish drivers who see them as an opportunity to make an extra buck. They take an advantage of their unawareness about the rates normally charged and routes through the city. To avoid any confusion or prospective trouble, check the taxi logo at the top. Number 5, avoid being the one with leftovers on your plate. It is considered to be an insult, if you are a guest at a Turkish household for a meal, and end up not eating everything that is on your plate. Because if you do leave something on your plate, your hosts will think you did not like what they had offered. It is a mark of extreme reverence, and appropriate mannerism, to not leave any leftover. Number 6, avoid consuming too much alcohol. While Turkish citizens themselves do enjoy a drink or two on joyous occasions, drinking excessively or on a regular basis is frowned upon and coming across someone who is drunk in public is not something they are too fond of. So, avoid getting too drunk and making any loud or obnoxious commotion in public due to that. Number 7, do not forget to maintain table etiquette. Turkish cuisines have some of the most mouth-watering dishes in the entire world. However, when it comes to food, the tourists should never forget to follow the basic table manners, for the Turks are especially quite particular about it. For instance, while using a toothpick, it is suggested you make it a bit discreet. It is because clearing your teeth without covering your mouth with hand would seem rude. Number 8. Do not misuse the Turkish language. Using the country's language inappropriately can hurt the people's sentiments and might as well lead to unpleasant circumstances. So, it is imperative that you learn some of their manners instead and the Turkish translation of words like thank you, excuse me, please and so on. These gestures will even help you establish cordial relations with the locals. Number 9, Don't Mind People Smoking at the Dinner Table Turkey is a Muslim country and most of the people consider alcohol, as haram or forbidden. You would meet people who are teetotalers or drink occasionally. But on the contrary, you would see a lot of people smoking around you. It is also considered normal to smoke on at the dinner table. Number 10. Don't buy stones or fossils. Do not indulge in buying any stones or fossils while you're vacationing in Turkey as it's considered as cultural artifacts, and it's illegal to export them, consider it as what not to do when in Turkey. Many shopkeepers will try to sell it to you, but try and avoid as most of them are fake too. 
Number 11, Don't Shop at Malls. Turkey is home to some incredible local bazaars and covered markets. These stores sell gorgeous handicrafts and traditional items of accessories and clothing, that are exclusive and cannot be purchased in any of the outlets in malls. From elegant Turkish carpets to Mirsham smoking pipes, you can find a range of exotic items in the beautiful and fascinating bazaars, that provide better shopping options compared to the modern malls in the city. Number 12, Don't Dis Ataturk. Do be aware that the Turkish people have a deep respect for the founding father of the Turkish Republic, Ataturk. Make no jokes or even side remarks about him. This also goes for the government, the Turkish flag, the military, as it is illegal to do so. Number 13, don't take pictures of people without asking permission. Older people, in particular, are afraid of the camera, and consider it the evil eye. Don't take pictures of any woman wearing a veil, people praying, or any military facility. Read about where you can and can't take photographs around the world. Number 14, don't refuse food or tea if visiting someone. If you're visiting a home, don't refuse any food given to you or tea. You might be full and not at all hungry, but at least eat some of it. If they ask you if you're hungry and you're really not, it's okay to say so, but if they give you the food without asking, it's customary to take it. Turkish hospitality is a huge thing, and by refusing it, some people may find it a little insulting, even if you don't mean it to be. Number 15, don't forget to bargain. It's regarded as a polite gesture and a form of dialogue to negotiate the price. However, do be careful with what you say. If you say to a shopkeeper that you will think about it and come back, they take you at your word and will berate you if you walk past the next day.